In this video, I'll be comparing the Anker C1000 with the expansion battery and the Anker C800 Plus. And you guys can go ahead and decide for yourself which one is a better fit for you. And I'm going to give you guys my overview of both of these units. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we got the C1000 with the expansion battery fully charged up here and connected. And when I say connected guys, this comes with some sturdy hardware, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. And we also got the C800 Plus, which I've done a full review on. If you guys want to check that out in the links down below. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the limitations of something like the C800 Plus. And then we're going to go ahead and try it out on this C1000. And we're also going to see the limitations of this unit because they all have limitations. And it's better to find out now. And let's go ahead and take a quick little overview of the C800 unit here. So we have a total of five AC ports here, two USB-C ports, and two USB-A, and a car socket. And on the side, we have the connection to charge this through the wall. There's a little reset, which I've never had to use. And this XD60 connector, this is how you can go ahead and charge it through the vehicle. And also through solar panels. I have the 200 watt solar panel array set up over here and today is really a cloudy day with lots of overcast and so on a day like this don't expect to get 200 watts out of any panel and currently it is putting out 13 watts and on the C1000 we have a similar layout right here and there's a few differences between the C1000 and the C800 and now let's take a look at what really makes the C800 plus extra special it's got this pole mount right in there and it comes with these two torches and that pole and this is magnetic and these are charged whenever you put them back automatically just like that now the C1000 does not have anything up top it is going to be a solid piece and on the back the configuration is pretty much the same however on the front you'll notice that there's an extra port and this is a 20 amp connection. So let's take a look at that again. This is just a regular 15 amp connection. This is a 20 amp connection. And let's see if this can actually handle that in a little bit. And we'll actually put this to the test. We have a similar light bar up here. And both of them do work on the app. And I'll show you guys the app a little bit later. And this is how the C1000 connects to the auxiliary battery is through this cable right here and this is a massive cable and it slides into place just like that and you will hear the unit beep this is how you check the battery so the size of the C800 and the C1000 is pretty similar and there is a slight difference in weight that weighs in about 23 pounds this is 28 pounds and the extra battery is about 26 pounds. And both units come with car lighter charger. So you can charge this through your vehicle. And as a pro tip, try to connect to the one right in the front. As some of the car lighter ports in the back have a lower output. And the cable is definitely long. And we get this nice splitter for solar panels. So the solar input on this is going to be a total of 300 watts. And this unit is only 200 watts. So if I wanted to combine two units, I can go ahead and get up to 300 on this unit and 600 watts of solar input on this unit. And one thing that's really nice about this is everything's handled by the unit. So for example, if I'm charging off solar and I plug it into the wall, it will automatically disengage the solar and it will start charging off the wall and vice versa. And if I disconnect it from the wall now, it will go ahead and switch back to solar. I have the app running here now. And let's try to put this to max use here. I have a 1500 watt heater hooked up right here. And let's turn this on. As you can see, the unit is putting out 1478 watts. And the fan did turn on. And this is a really big load, and if I was to continue this, this unit can handle this 1500 watt heater for a total of half an hour. 
and normally you're not going to go and use something like this with the portable power station. For example, this could be a microwave and some microwaves actually take more than 1500 watts. Now that the heater's gone and warmed up, the wattage has dropped down to 1193 watts. And if we try to put any more of a load on this C800 Plus, the unit basically resets. So I saw 1500 watts there, and there's some sort of error message on the display, and the heater's off, and the heat gun is off at the same time. And that was on setting one. Now let's go ahead and try a similar load here on the C1000 and you guys can witness the difference for yourself and if you ever overload the system and you want to reset it turn the AC power on and off and it will start working again that easy and if I didn't mention it both the units do have pure sine wave power so you can use these on your delicate electronics with no issues So now I got the C1000 connected here. We're running the app. And let's go ahead and turn on that heater. And the nice thing with the C1000 and the extra battery is that the extra battery will go ahead and deplete itself first. It's really nice the way it's actually all handled right here, 100% and the battery is at 93%. And now let's go ahead and try that heat gun at the same time. And as we can see, the unit is actually handling 2113 watts with no issues. I could go turn on the car socket, the DC ports here, And to put this to the real test, let's go ahead and put this on the highest setting here. And there we go, we actually tripped even the C1000 because a heat gun and a 1500 amp heater is definitely overload for any portable power station. And again, to go ahead and get this to work, turn it off, turn it back on. And if you wait about one minute, Turn it back on. And no issues. I'm gonna go ahead and let this run so that way you guys can go ahead and see how the unit works in conjunction with the extra battery here. And both of these units do serve as a UPS. So you could go ahead and leave everything plugged in. And in case the power goes out, it'll go through and switch over in milliseconds. And this does have pass through power. So currently the unit is being charged as I'm running the heat gun. And if I unplug it, it will seamlessly switch over and continue to operate without any issues. There's a couple of different ways of configuring the C1000 with the spare battery. One of them is gonna be to go ahead and leave them side by side like this. And you'll have that cable protruding out like that. And this is about a good foot. So you wanna account for that space. And there's a very rigid cable, so you don't wanna apply a lot of pressure here. The other is to go ahead and put the spare battery on top. And this is the one I personally like, or if you're limited by options, you can also go ahead and just spread them apart. And this is how it looks when you have them spread apart. And this takes up about four feet from here to there. Now that we have seen both the C1000 with the extra battery and the 800 plus in action, taking on some pretty heavy loads, this is the time for you guys to go ahead and decide on which one's a better unit for you. I personally think the C800 is gonna be 
plenty for about 60 percent of the folks out there that just want to go and take a portable power station with them camping power up the electronics charge up their laptops or maybe run a portable refrigerator this will go ahead and handle it and it has those nice torches that really set it apart from the competition the software and the former in both of these units is solid i did notice something weird with the c1000 and it had a little connectivity issue and for a few nights it showed that the unit was 100 percent dead when it was actually fully charged i think they actually fixed this with their recent updates and so the nice thing with anchor is it's constantly updating and improving and i do want to thank them for sending me these units and as always guys i kept my reviews honest if there was anything that i left out of this video that you thought was important please mention it down below as we are all learning including myself thank you so much if i find any special coupon codes to either one of these units i will leave you those links down below thank you so much and make it a great day